Right, should be live. Here we are. In fact, let's bring this camera down a wee bit. So, if it freezes, I can see it. Hey Red, thanks for joining. In fact, maybe that's a bit too low. Right, let's check. Right, so we're going to continue collapsing this beetle. So I've did a wee bit more after the first stream. I've put in basically the bottom. I've done most of these creases. They're in place, but I can't collapse the bellow pleats until I get the rest of this done. So that'll probably be near the end. But this is what it looks like. And I fixed up the wee leg pleats as well. So it all hides nicely inside. Right. That cap power camera is a wee bit too high. How's the lighting? Is it any good? Hey Matt, thanks for joining. Welcome to this fun stream. That's not torture for me. Um, yeah, start here. So I'm just gonna hopefully get all this bit collapsed on stream and if I can I'll repeat it on this side. So probably thinking of just doing this Entire collapse, uh, doing it on streams, probably a fun way to do it, rather than just do it off stream. It's more fun that way. And I'm not in a rush to make it, so why not? Hey Donnie, thanks for joining. What's so fun? This collapse. It's completely not torture. You should try it at some point. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice model. It's, it's really soothing. It makes you feel good when you collapse it. Oh, awesome Ben. Thanks for joining as well. Lighting is very good. Brilliant. So this can move forward. Oh, that's where the plant goes. Should I come any closer to the camera? I mean, it looks pretty good so far from when I, from when I look through the phone. You're currently folding three models at the same time. Nice. Which models are they then? Oh, it's these stupid plates again. Up here. They'll look easier to collapse than the last ones. I'm 
Okay, so I'm going to put, if I can, all these layers up in place first. Maybe even get this, this sinks inside valley fold here. Mountain fold comes up. Oh, Lopper wants in right now. I'll stop in a second. What's that? What Robert J. Lang crease pattern of a bug that I should start with? Mm. Though, if you check his website and look at his older models of insects, there's a lot of good ones there that aren't too difficult. So, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but definitely check his website and these earlier folds. They should be a good starting point. Yeah, Donnie, are you excited for the convention, Soma? I cannot wait to go. Where are you staying, Donnie? Are you staying in the convention? Or, like, a hotel or with people? Um, I'm just curious. I'm going to the Park Lane Hotel, which is when you walk out the front door of the hotel and then cross the road, you're at Central Park. So it's absolutely amazing. I really can't wait as well. I just can't wait to meet everyone <laughs> and be around people that love origami as much as me. It's going to be so fun. Oh yeah, Donna, you're, you're going to be a big help for my vlogs, aren't you? You're going to take part in it, every single one of them. I know you will. <laughs> you love my meeting. Yeah. De definitely check his website. There's a lot of uh, easier insects that he made years ago. And the crease patterns are all there. I mean, I was planning to stay in one of the dormitories, but you know, when you top up the expense for each day, it's like £200 a night for me. And it's just way too much. It's, it's not really worth it. So I, I, I arrived there on the Thursday, I think it is. Yeah, Thursday. No, Wednesday, and then I've got all of Thursday to spend in New York. And then I've got, then the convention starts on Friday. So I basically got a full day. And I was even, I was even thinking if we could meet up as well, if possible, or anyone. Maybe like a day to hang out and chill, get some food, have some fun. Yeah, like a good hangout, that would be good. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, that's correct. Oh, is it? Nope. Yeah, so I'll put this bit in place first. Yeah, and you get a little friend right there. to go to any conventions I'd love to meet you and all of you are that's a shame but if you can just d definitely save up it's definitely worth it I mean it's one of these things it's always expensive for everyone because people travel all over the world to go and obviously not everyone can make it but if you can save up and then you should hopefully be able to go, and we should hopefully meet at some point. Oh, what is this? Yeah, I'll do this but first. It seems the best solution. You won't be there till Saturday. Oh, 
Um, I think I'm there for seven days. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. How long are you there, Donny? If you know, if you're staying. So it's probably a few days after it. I thought it was per bed. Yeah, I'm, I can't remember the exact pricing of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's per bed, but if you're not sharing, or if you, no, you basically pay for two, if, even though you're only taking one, in a way, in a sense. Can't, I can't remember exactly how they, they worded it. So let's try and put these creases in place. So we've got Valley Fold, we've got Mountain, we've got here, Straight Mountain comes down, Valley. I'll actually collapse this bit as well. Oh, did I mess up then? Sorry. Um, Oh yeah, Quentin Trollops, Clydesdale Horse, Lance Cockroach, and lastly the King Cobra. Oh nice, which Cobra is it? Oh, I, th I think you posted that in, in the group, though I, I can't remember. You, the big picture with all the, all the pre creases on it. This is going to be quite tricky. Now let me just double check. Right, I need to collapse these bits first to make this a bit easier. Hey Sandro, thanks for joining. I didn't mention you already. Already we're starting to struggle. But we shall prevail. Um, So that's where it stops. So where are these mountain folds? Oh, they're right here. One, one, two, three, four. Oh, there's the ones right in there. Can you see the crease? That's in position. The same with this one.
So if I don't talk too much of this part, I'm just trying to really figure it out. Yeah, it's correct. I don't think I'm getting anywhere here. All right, it's starting to come in place. Extend this because she's holding up the now. Good thing is about this paper, when you put it in place, you just make the creases stiffling and they stay in place. So that really does help. Now I can, that spit pops out. How does this bit collapse flat? Oh, that's the valley fold there. Starting to come to together. There. So basically, the part I'm doing right now is this bit. I'm putting this bit in place, then I've got this part roughly in place. Once I get this in place, I'll put more of this in place if I can, and then try to make the mountain and valley folds all the way up. And then somewhat hope it stays in place here, and then it's in place here, and then the pressure of the paper coming down the way and across should make collapsing this easier and hopefully by the end of the stream all this bit will be perfectly collapsed. So that is the plan. Yeah and I said I'd try and do the same on the other side but I don't think that will happen. Hey Finn, thanks for joining. Hey Echo, I made a cobra too. Nice. I've only made one cobra years ago. I've never really shown it before because it's probably not that good. 
It's upstairs. You've probably seen it in pictures when I take them around my room. It's uh, the Caddy Chan's one, the one I made. Can't remember the name of it. The uh, the Devil Cobra. That's the one I made. And I've never, I don't think I've ever, ever actually shown it or made it, a video for it. Now I'm just trying to see how this put collapses. Got all the valley folds. So it's the valley fold is that diagonal. And there's no valley fold in the centre, so it must come down the way. Can't really force it flat because I don't have the other layers in place to help. force anything in place. Right, so let's try to extend these creases down the way. These go straight down, which is good. They hit the diagonal. They come back down and meet up here. So put a few more of these in place. Where's this first one go? Hits here. And then it comes all the way down to first, second, third set of diagonals. And there's the first set of small ones, setting set, and the third right there. So it meets up here. Just leave it like that for now. Now, a good trick to do is normally this, this is where the crease ends. So just extend this diagonal all the way up, or as far as it goes, which is only another three units. And then that makes it easier to collapse these bits. Oh, there's another one. Oh yeah, that's fine. Now one, two, three, four, five. Close it. And that keeps falling the diagonals. Oh, the, I, I forgot my tree frog got to under on Instagram, what the fuck happened to your tree frog on Instagram? I have no idea, I swear to god, I have no idea. I, I have no idea what happened. What happened was, when I checked it when I got home, it had about 997 likes. And then I posted a picture to Instagram saying, need three more likes, hoping I'd get them. I checked ten minutes later, because I took a picture of it as well. 10 minutes later, and then I had 6,000 likes. So I'm pretty sure someone's botted me subs, not me Instagram likes. That's the only reason I can think of. People told me it went viral, I got on this page or that page, but I don't think it did. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think they're legit. Because if they were, they wouldn't just stop automatically. Which is weird. Well, that's what I think happened. I think someone's done it to me on purpose. Right, so these hit the diagonals. Is it for the the design competition in the Discord? That one? No. I'm pretty sure there's one happened in there, and I'm not sure. Um, This valley folds over and that goes up. So 
So let me just see. One, two, three, four. So second, third mountain fold. Oops. No, it's not, it's the second. Had to diagonal and then change direction. Oh, the Discord server, yeah. I need to start using that more often. I've not been using it that much recently. <laughs> so it comes down. This is the hard bit, first just trying to get everything in place before you can basically go ahead. That's weird. I'll leave it like that now. Oh, that's a valley fold, that's sure. Mountain, mountain. I've never made it bin, no. <laughs> I don't think I've, I've saw it before, though I need to look it up. This is the last setting of it. Mountain fold. So that bit is trying to put this in place. Right, so that bit's in place. Mountain fold right down the center. And then this comes up, hits the diagonal. Okay, definitely once I finish this whole thing on stream or in general, I'm gonna pick an easier model to do live. Probably pick the hardest one out there. I can somehow grab these bits, turn it around. So that mountain foot on 
two, three, what row I'm looking at. Yeah, that's correct. Then that will fold over and turn into the mountain fold. Um, what does it say? Oh, following and stuff. I'm sure I'm already. Um, Oh, this is the beard. It's different on each side. Hmm. This is, so this is right. This is right. See, it shows the full mountain fold on this side overlaps. This side is like the reverse side. Mountain fold comes down. So that's the center. So it hits that one as well. Get folded over. And um, let me just see here that gets folded over as well. It's chain is correct. So that would be the valve fold and mountain. Mountain, mountain. Yep, that's correct. This is going to be really tricky to actually collapse flat. The main thing is with followers, everyone grows at different speeds. And just, I think it's entirely based on luck and on what you do or how you do it or whatever. I mean, there's no real way to actually grow than just keep doing what you're doing. This bit in place. And then that's where these pleats happen. Well, this is going to be tricky. Right. So I think I've got most of what I can do here in place. Can't really. Could try and collapse it flat more.
I'm waiting for these must get tucked on the side. Yeah, this is a full valley fold. the center crease up to up to so mountain mountain and there's no value fold on the center So it's going to be this part tricky to collapse. Let me just have a wee quick look. I think it's tucked inside. Because when you see parts like this, um, right here, so you see you've got the mountain fold, and here as well, and then it comes down here. And then the direction of this crease is here, this mountain fold, to valley fold. So this tells you that the paper is getting pushed to the right. So in order to do that, you need to make the 45 degree crease. So make the mountain folds here, and then here, and then bend it, and then you can slot it in place, and then make these valley folds. So I'll try that, and watch me fail miserably. So let me just don't check. May not be able to do it so I don't have all the creases. Where's this? Go all the way. All the way up. And then the valley fold is yep. So we've got the creases here, we just need to make it 45 degrees. And then try and slot together like so, and then we fold it over like that. That locks it in place. So, and then as you can see, that's the valley fold here. And then mountain fold. So we've got this, so that's a good thing. And we do it on the other side as well. But I don't have any of that in place yet. Oh, yeah, it comes up. Oh, um, you can post that again. I was just going to approve it, but it comes up. Certain ministries. Like I need to approve first, but you can post it again if you want to include your Instagram links. I was just going to do it then and it disappeared. Yeah, it just depends on followers. Like I mostly, I the most followers I get is when I post finished models folds. But if it's every other day things, it's not as much. So if, uh, so if I were to post finished model every day, I would get. A lot more followers, a lot more followers quickly than what I not than what I normally get.
I think that's all they've got, does it? Um, yep. Um, let me see. How to float up? Cross, 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 diagonal. Yep, that's correct. So this must. Let me check this other side before I try and squash this flat. Oh, it's upside down compared to me. It's not a good angle for me. Oh, that's better. Much better. Right, most of the time, I'm not going to squash it flat right, right away. I'll do that off camera so I don't make a mess of it. But everyone's near enough, ready to go. You're doing a Covenant Alien time lapse for YouTube, nice. And my first post was on November 17, 2016. I can't remember when my first post was. Quite a few years ago. Oh, that gets tucked inside. It's weird how he does this. So where is this mount? I'll be there now. If you want, you can link your channels in the comments. I'll prove it. If, if that, that should help you out as well. If you want, you can do that. Or even your your Instagram pages. Right, so this is practically in place, so I should be able to make these bits easier to collapse. Yeah, I definitely won't get the other side done, but if I can aim to get this side perfectly, that'll be good enough for the stream. I need to make this crease. Where will I show? There, that should appear now. 
Yeah, it says shore hide when it comes up. Obviously, just to prevent people from, people from spamming. And it should be up. One, two, three. Valley, valley, valley. So this is the tricky part. Bali Bali Mountain Fold. Don't tell me I didn't make that a mountain fold. No, I never did. Yeah, I did, I think. I think I did. Now I have. <laughs> so it comes down, hits there. Hits there. Mountain fold. Um, there. Yep, valley fold up. That's correct. All right, he's he's all falling along. He's up to this point where I'm at now. This would be a nightmare to do a follow along video. Oh, awesome Finn, you're doing a challenge to get 100 subs before summer. Yeah, definitely keep keep grinding. That's that. That's the thing with subscribers as well. It's so random on how you actually gain them. There's no specific way. You can make the best videos in the world and get nothing, while people make the best videos as well and get all of them. It's just it's so different for everyone. Two people can make the exact same videos, the same length, the same video type, same everything, then upload them both, and then just depending on YouTube's algorithms and your luck, one will do better than the other. I mean, there's no... There's all these videos on YouTube, how to get subs and this and that, but... For me, it's just down to luck. That's what I think it is. So that's starting to go in place. Now let's focus on these pleats. Because these pleats are stopping me from collapsing this completely flat. Completely flat. Oh, you get you get that pun? That's a bad pun. And this gets tucked all the way inside, honey. Flip over for a second. So this is all in place and correct, so it's just a matter of getting these pleats. Oh, another one. Sure. Oh, well, not something else. Oh, alright. It's pretty cool how the algorithms can pick up comments like that right away. And if you ask someone to sub to you, 
that will automatically pick it up and hold it for review. Um, let's get it tucked and side. I made the wrong one about unfold. Right, this looks more like the correct position. Yeah, that's overlapping. It's so it feels so good when they start to come together. And then fold. Yep, that's correct. And they're actually easier to put in place than the the first set. Did on the last stream. No, I know T series taking over period high, that's rubbish. They don't deserve that number one spot. It's crazy how they got so many subs so quickly. One, two and a half. I don't think we'll get the comeback from it anymore. Alright, let me see where I'm at. One, two, valley four. They're 100,000 subs ahead, my god. I didn't expect it to be that much. Because normally they would gain like two or 3,000, then I'd check back in an hour, and then PewDiePie would be up by like 40,000, but 100,000. That's just rubbish. There's definitely no coming back from this now. So this is all correct. So I can't fully collapse this part until... Um, it's just, there's not that many creases left to put in place. I need to open up, where's the last pleat? There's this third one and the fourth one is here. And then let me see, mountain fold, mountain fold. Yeah, this is going to be the... Strike apart. It's going to be so satisfying when it all comes together. This bit. So first two pleats are in place. Um, 
Yeah, looks a bit right. And then that comes down. And then it repeats the process as the first one. again there yeah plug in the charger it's cause when the battery gets low it happens no the cement the, the CP is symmetrical I'll show you the now so it's oh, oh, it as asymmetric on the top but it's the same everywhere else so same on both sides, but it's just the top that's slightly asymmetric. But that's other than that, it's the same, which is good because you can do it once you know how to do it on one side. It's exact same on the other. So good when you once you pre-crease, I, I said it before in the last video, go through all the creases, like flip the crease pattern over and then make all the valley folds, strong mountain folds on the white side because everything falls into place so much easier and it does help a lot. And it's going to be this last mountain fold that will be tricky. Down, one, two, three. Down, one, two, three. Mountain fold up. And does this get tucked inside? That becomes the mountain fold. There, there we go. Then we make that the valley. Then I should be able to fix this. A wee gentle push. Yeah, it needs to go down more. It's not too much. Same, same. No, it's the third one, one actually. That 
it's single tissue, yep, it's single bleeding tissue that I'm using. Bleeding's much softer and it's harder to work with, but you get you still get really nice results with it. But because it's softer, it's much more tricky to work with than normal tissue. Now I can push that together. I have these all in place near enough. That's the last one. Mountain mountain. Tell I'm using the wrong crease. Yes, I am. That's why. Because these units are so small. It's this one right here. Like it's folded up. up. And then it's. This wee tiny crease. So I'm hoping this is correct. Yep, it's lying flat, which is good. And I should be able to it collapse these pleats on the bottom. So again, we've got them all in place, we just need to make them out and fold to connect them up and lock them completely. But before I do that, I need to make sure that these pleats are correct. I mean, I'm using big, I'm using about 40, 45 centimetres, which is bigger than I'd normally use for an, an insect, and these are tiny. So if you're going to use this, if you're going to make this model, then make sure you use at least 50 centimetres. That'd give you a good size one. And make these not as difficult. So they're starting to go in place. And there. They're locked in place because I've got that full mountain fold on the bottom. Then this shouldn't come undone. No, it's just I like it's tucked underneath, so it's only one spike. The second square. It's over the first one. Is that right, eh? Yep. Top tower valley folds, so which I've made. How does this? Oh, this must just fold over. Let me see. And yes, the valley folds. So over the center. Yeah, pretty sure that's correct. You fold it with double cord stock. What day of paper? What day of paper is that? Those are like normal, like card paper. Wait, 
Right, this point is pushing up. So how do I flatten it? Oh, there's a valley fold right here. Right, this is going to be quite tricky. I know what I want to do. Just trying to get the paper to do it. I mean, look at that. And yeah, how, how's the quality on this? Because it looks great on my phone, but when I look through the tablet, it still looks pretty good, but it looks better on the phone. I see what you mean. I know what you mean. There. Oops. Maybe that's that bit collapsed. And again, the good thing is with this. And if you're experienced enough, when you look at the crease pattern, you see that this mountain fold, everything below this mountain fold, so basically this unit right here, and obviously all the way up, you only see this part, and you only see this part. So if you get this bit perfect, you don't need to worry about this, because this doesn't get seen. When you come to shape it, you add glue, I meant to beat all these layers on both sides, but in the end you'll see this because obviously when you shape it, you'll have that, you'll glue it all, and then you'll fold it in half and shape however you want. So you'll never see the bits on the inside. They all get hidden so no one can see. So I'm confident enough that I can just completely press this together. There. And it's all locked. All these be intricate folds, they'll never get seen, so you don't need to worry how neat they are. You know, that looks pretty cool. Now it's just this wee last bit. There, so we're back here. Right, so valley fold, we've got in place mountain and valley, mountain and then valley fold here, but we don't have the creases on this side, so I think I'll leave that, because that'll probably take the same amount of time that it's already took to put these ones in place for those ones. there and then fold up there that's in place now there we go You've already made the beetle tabby, oh nice. Well done. If you've got any, if, oh, you should try and show us pictures of it if you can. 
either like on Instagram or that, share them because I'd, I'd honestly love to see them. So that's that whole leg done. We've finally done this whole part and if you've just joined, we basically collapsed this leg section right here. We've got all these pleats in place. And obviously what I would do now is I'd repeat it on this side. So what I would do is we've just collapsed basically everything from here and down. And then I'd repeat it all here. And then as you can see, when you collapse this part, there's a lot of pressure going up from this point upwards. So we would open it up. And then we're looking at it from this point of view. We'd open it up. And then start putting in the rest of these creases. Which it allows us to. Then we would do the same here. So basically we've got all these these two big squares collapsed and then we'd work our way in. And then start collapsing here because we've already got the creases here we can connect them up, connect them up and then work straight up. And then the same again here and here. So that's how I collapse insects. It's always from the outside and in. So I am so happy with this. I don't think I'd get this done in this time. It took a while, but that is a leg done. Yeah, it's definitely difficult to have you use tissue foil. That would help so much with this model because you want a paper that holds itself in place. It's actually going to be quite big as well. I'm not sure how big the leg is. Oh yeah, it's up to where the valley hold is. So that's probably the, the length of the leg. So you'd cover it. So it's actually going to make quite a big insect. Right, I'm going to stop the stream now because I think I've been doing it for quite a while. And I'm starting to get a bit tired. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking your time and watching me struggle with this. I would not recommend this model. And if you have made it, like, Tavi, then congratulations. Right everyone, I'm going to go the now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later.